this is our hardware in the loop test bed. The test bed is made up of a physical layer and a cyber layer. The physical layer consists of a microgrid and a bulk grid, and they are interconnected through a transmission line. The cyber layer consists of four controllers, an aggregator represented by the computer, and each of them, each of the controllers is connected to a distributed energy resource, which we call DERs. And these controllers run a distributed control algorithm over a wireless communication network. The goal of this test bed is to control the power outputs of the distributed energy resources, the DERs, so that the power exchange between the microgrid and the bulk grid tracks a given regulation signal. This device is called the Typhoon HIL. We use this device for modeling and simulation of the physical layer. So the microgrid and the bulk grid are modeled in this device. The models developed on the Typhoon HIL are called ultra-high fidelity models because they are designed with high accuracy to mimic a real system. The simulations performed on the Typhoon HIL are done in real time. This is our cyber layer. These four controllers are connected to the Typhoon HIL through an Ethernet switch. We use a standard protocol called Modbus for serial communication between the controllers and the Typhoon HIL. Each controller wirelessly communicates with its neighbors iteratively to determine the optimal set points for the DERs they control. And this is achieved through a ratio consensus algorithm that is implemented on the cyber layer. At its core, the control architecture we have developed in the cyber layer is distributed and robust against communication link failure. In our test setup, a regulation signal is sent to the aggregator every two to four seconds. And the aggregator communicates this regulation signal to a leader node, which we have color coded orange. When the leader controller receives the regulation signal, a ratio, a ratio consensus algorithm is initiated on all the controllers. Each controller iteratively communicates with its neighbors over a wireless communication network until optimal set points for the distributed energy resources are determined by the controllers. The optimal set points computed cause the power exchange between the microgrid and the bulk grid to match the regulation signal within the distributed energy resource ratings. The regulation signal we use in this test bed is called the PGM Reg D test signal. It is a dynamic regulation signal developed for fast response resources in the regulation market. The signals respond to a required change in output. The signal corresponds to a required change in output. The signal changes every two to four seconds. And the PGM performance compliance requires resource performance scores of 75% or better. The performance scores are computed by taking into account the correlation of the power outputs of the distributed energy resources and the reg these test signals, and also the delay in response of these resources. And the performance score is computed according to this. What I'm gonna show you now is a simulation that is ongoing in the Typhoon HIL. Over here, we're comparing the reference values for the output powers of the distributed energy resources against their outputs. 
if you look closely, there's an overlap between the reference values and the power outputs. This is because we have great performance results. Now I'm going to show you the performance costs we computed for these resources. Over here, the power exchange between the microgrid and the bulk grid is measured, and this is in watts. After measuring the performance scores, we got great results within the 99.5, 99% range for each <coughs> distributed energy resource.